Okay, welcome back. And I uh, just thought I'd show you the uh, progress on this Joker head sculpt. No other people have done it, but I thought I would uh, show you what you're in for if you want to uh, mod this. I mean, straight out of the box, the eyes are a little bit derpy looking sort of straight down, but you know, with the head tilted like that, it's perfectly acceptable as it is. I'm just being a little bit extra and, uh, you know, investigating like others have done. And this is basically what you're going to be confronted with um, if you do decide to go down this route. Uh, just be prepared. You're going to need a hairdryer. You're going to need a flat-headed screwdriver. This sort of size will do. A pair of needle nose wires. Got a couple of pairs there. And basically, what you do is you you heat up the sections of hair. So that goes there, and that goes like that, I guess. No, that's not right. <laughs> That's not right. Uh, right, it goes something like this. Something like this. Right, that slots in like that. So you're going to have to take off, just heat it up at the back, pull this bit, that will come away. Take that bit off as well if you want, you don't need to. But if you want to repaint the head, um, that that's your best bet. And you can repaint all this. I don't think it's a, that bad a paint job. I've seen a lot worse. I've done a lot worse. <laughs> you could go for a Michael Myers type Joker here. It's pretty cool. Um, just, you know, paint them black. The eyeballs. It's really strange why I've done it this way. Um, I guess it's just easier to cast the pieces like this. And then there, uh, yeah, it's just it's been recast off the uh, DX11 head, I guess, or one of the Poe's heads. Um, yeah, it's really weird. So, the plan others have done it is to cut these little eyeballs off and then stick some wooden cocktail sticks or something a bit stronger on the back put them in and then you've somehow connect them and you have got some sort of purrs I guess um, uh, failing that just have you know sirs single eye rolling system just do them individually I've got a lot of Venter Bay figures old Bruce Lee ones that I like that, it's not a big deal. You can have them with some crazy eyeball effects, even more derpy than what it come with. Or, you know, one eye looking for you, <laughs> looking up, looking after you. But, um, oh, let's have a look. <laughs> it's not that bad. I say, looking down, that is pretty acceptable. In my book, to the side it's not terrible this is the problem with the pers in the first place if the eyeballs are not lined up straight then you're going to get that sort of you know wonky eye look I don't, honestly don't think they're that bad it looks good from side angles looking down but uh, I thought I thought I'd show anyway. And also, with the laughing head, it's the same situation with the mouth. Now I might repaint this. Yeah, it's just one section on the back that just uh, sort of slots in there at the front, and then down. So you just heat from the back and wedge it up. And it should come off in one piece if you're careful. And then the same with this. It's in two parts. So what did I do? I sort of manhandled it quite a lot. 
but um, just be careful, try not to rip any of this while taking it out. It's in two sections, as I said. It's pretty crudely painted. It comes apart, so you'll see it. It'll be like that. I did get a screwdriver in there and just wedge that apart. I got the bottom half out first and then just carefully manipulated this and it come out. So then all you've got to do, obviously a bit of pink in there and some yellow for the teeth. Tongue's pretty good as it is, just do the teeth yellow. Cover up that white bit with some red paint and it should be good to go to put back in. Let it dry, a bit of acrylic varnish, a bit of gloss varnish for the, the wet parts. Heat it back up and then pop it back in. Uh, so if you want to repaint it, you can do. But um, I say for what it is, it's pretty good. I think it's okay. It could do with a little touch up. You can always go over it with some white, but you know, you've got the skin tone underneath. It's a bit. It looks better actually on camera than it does in hand. It's a little bit flat in hand, but I think it's pretty decent for what it is. It's a knockoff. What do you expect? Next thing will be the body. I'm trying to get these hands off without snapping the wrist pegs. Probably just go for it and snap them anyway. The elbows were quite stiff out of the box, so I did manage to work them loose. But as you can see... It goes, uh, maybe not, they do sort of bend both ways. <laughs> I'm not sure about the knees. The knees do bend the way they should, and they don't bend back on themselves, so they're all right. Feet move, all the usual, a bit stiff at the ankles, but it's good for posing, so you don't really need a stand if, if you don't want one. I mean, the stand that comes with it, it's pretty decent. I've seen worse. And it's got the old Vision Creations on the back. So if this uh, if this is your bag and you want to play around with the eyes, get them moving, um, I'm not sure if it's worth the effort really. I mean, I could strip this down and rehair it and such, but I'll have a think about it and get back. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.